Okay, this is part three of my magneto cameraing which I'm making uh, on my budget milling machine. I'll just have a bit of a recap about my magneto before I carry on. Uh, I know I keep saying it, but uh, if you want to catch up with my magneto project, there's uh, videos on how I made a coil winder. Then there's four videos on how I rebuilt it, made a test rig, to, uh, and repaired body. And then this is part three of me making a ring that we're missing for it. An identical cam ring from a from a pattern one. From a, Lu a Lucas original one. So in my last video we I got up to the stage where the first video I shown you how I how I come to get all these angles and sizes and dimensions. Uh, second video I shown you how I set it up in the budget miller using pretty much limited equipment and um, machining these these lobes. I've now done that as you've seen in my last video and that's where I'm up to now. It's still in machine actually. So what I'm going to do now what I've got to do now, let me just get drawing back, I've got to offset it on rotary table, I'm, I'm in that position at the moment, looking square on, uh, this is the centre line of my machining, what I've just done, I've got to offset the, the cam 15 degrees so I can uh, put a slot mill down this, um, to get this f uh, advance and retard slot. And once I've got that, while it's while it's in that position, I'll uh, scribe a line across at 90 degrees, so I can then move over to my dividing head and cut this 60 degree slot for advance and retard mechanism. So I'm just going to put a 3 8 cutter in at the moment. It's a 400. It's a 400 thou slot, but I've only got a 3 8 cutter, so I'm going to go in with a 3 8 cutter and move over 12 and a half thou each side. So I'll just get me ready. Right, I've uh, I've moved my uh, rotary table 15 degrees. Right, I've put this slot in now. That's for the... Uh, um, location point that goes into magneto for advance and retard. So while it's set at that, uh, while it's set um, ver vertical, with, not vertical, in to, on y axis plane, I'm just going to mark the two marks on here so I can get my 90 degree mark for my V groove. And to do that, I've got a I've got a chuck and it's got one of my old taps in that's got a nice sharp point and I'll just scribe that across it. So I'll just change the tool in for that. Right, so I'm just going to scribe a line at 90 degrees to this slot that I've just put in. So I'm just going to touch on with that point of that tap. It's only an old tap that one I was going to throw away. It's gone blunt but it's got a nice point on it. Just scribe a line there then I can use that to set up with. That's it. So what I'm going to do now is uh, take this Arctic chuck now because it's all finished in operations in that and put me chuck onto the dividing head then I can set my slot 90 degree to my groove and then I'm going to cut my groove for advance and retard mechanism. Right, sorry about that, I've been a, been a while setting machine up because I had to move everything, uh, drop head and everything to get down low enough to machine this slot. So just looking at my original cam ring here, I've just milled that one in my rotary table as you've just seen and now I'm going to cut this slot here at 90 degrees. I've put it in my dividing head 
Now you don't have to put it in a divider, and it's just that my dividing head were on machine, so it'll be easier for me to to move it around 90 degrees. But you can do it. You can do it many methods to get this to get this 90 degree slot. This is just one method. So that's what I'm cutting now. So this slot here is going to be a quarter inch deep. It's just a straightforward slot. Um, can't quite know what what width it was. We are looking at drawing. I'll tell you in a minute. Just a minute. Right, it's approximately 100 thou wide that slot. Now my cutter's only 332, which is 90 thou, but I'll get round that shortly by uh, showing you when I put the angle on. And what I'm going to use to put the angle on, I ain't got, I've got no special cutter or anything. It's a 60 degree angle. It's a 60 degree angle on that. And all I'm going to use is one of my a broken centre drill that I had saved it's the exact angle that I need 60 degree inclusive 30 degree on each side and when I put this um, center drill in to drill that angle it'll just open that hole out that, that slot that few thou that I need to make it 100 thou so I'll just do this off camera because I need to move camera because I've got to get to controls machine to do this all I'm doing is putting this slot in a quarter deep. Right, I've moved dividing head round 90 degrees. Uh, I just had to... Uh, that's only trouble on a budget miller. You have, you're forever adjusting positions of your head and your table and your stops and everything. So, uh, last time you saw me... A few minutes ago, I'd just cut this slot here. I got the wrong one here. Just where's the original? I'd just cut this slot, which slit in mill. I've now moved around 90 degrees. Got the slot at the top set up, and I'm gonna. I've put this uh, right. I ain't got a 60 degree cutter, so I've adapted a a broken. Um, centre drill that I've had which is exactly 60 degrees and I'll just show you what it does all I've got to do is put an angle on here um, I've lost my little part just a minute yeah I've got to put an angle on just to accept this this ad, uh, retarding advance mechanism that that goes into that and it's a 60 degree slot. to go a bit deeper just so that goes in Conclusion of this project. Um, here's me. He won out my bike, my camera ring, and here's my copy, which I've just just shown you how I did it. Um, and the one I did before this, I've tried it in bike, and it works perfect. I've had it back in my lathe and checked the degrees. The degrees aren't common. They're exactly the same as as um, the template one out of my bike. That's an original Lucas. 
So the only difference on, on mine is this, this slot, this V slot, I mean obviously back in, uh, oh, I'm looking for my part, back in, in times when they did it they, they would have had a special cutter to have done that, well I've just done it, uh, I've got that angle, that 30 degree angle with a centre drill, what we broke in my older, but it's still in the machine. And that's given me that exact 30 degree angle for this um, advanced mechanism to sit in, as you see there. That's what it does, it just pulls puts cam round, like in, in the original one. And it's at 90 degrees to uh, locating peg in magneto. All I've got to do is put an oil hole in, that's the only thing I've not done. That's just straightforward. So, uh, the only thing I will say about this is, uh, I know I explained to you on my drawing, it, but back here my drawing, um, I know I explained to you on this drawing how I got my angles in my lathe with that uh, degree um, gauge operant back. Now, you must bear in mind this, I, I've done this for a K2F, a K2F magneto, uh, anti-clockwise rotation now I would imagine cam rings for different bikes or that use a, a K2F uh, maybe it might be a bike with a clockwise rotation whereas this is anti-clockwise so the, the cams would be in a different position and also um, if it was uh, on a V V twin, the cam loads would, would be different, they wouldn't be at 180 degrees. So, this cam load, cam lobe, th sorry, this cam ring is specifically for this anti clockwise KF2 magneto for my bike. So, uh, I just thought it might be interesting to show me my milling machine, it's just a budget machine, as I've said. I've only got basic basic tools, budget tools, I don't go, I don't, I'm not extortionate with my tooling, I just uh, make do with what I've got. And uh, a simple boring head, a couple of simple cutters, um, dial test indicator, vernier caliper, and then you've just got to make your, your spacer for it to sit in chucking so you don't run into chuck. And what else is the, there's this ring here to set your dividing head up to, to 0 0.630 radius. Uh, cut a foot boring head. Feeler gauges, micrometer and a budget bore gauge. And I've produced this now. It's within, it's within less than a, what? half a thou tolerance to original which is quite ample so that's it yeah but it's important that that slot is in the proper relationship to the cam lobes for magneto to be able to produce a spark when magnetic flux is collapsing. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that little project and uh, if you've not seen my other videos where I rewound an armature and made a fixture for my lathe to rewind armature and, and vacuum impregnate it and a, a test rig for lathe, um, watch my other videos. So thanks for watching for now then and I'll, uh, I'll catch you on my next project. Thanks, bye.